Hey. Huh. Mm. Hope I'm not interrupting. No. Get over here. How's the old coot doing? I was just negotiating a plea bargain. Haven't heard back yet. <laughs> no, I just uh, just wanted to bring him up to speed on a few things. Well, he's a lot better listener now than he ever was before. We always listen to you. <laughs> Not that I gave him much choice. Well, Renee, after he found you, uh, you know, there was just no place else that he'd rather be. How are you holding up, huh? Well, I guess I'm feeling, uh, normal. That's hardly the word. Sometime last winter, I woke up one morning, and for the very first time, I wasn't surprised that Asa wasn't there. I really hated it, but I guess I'm beginning to accept it. Well, that makes one of us. Is that the plea that you were offering him? I just wish he could come back. I think uh, that he's probably the only one who could whip us into shape. Mm. And you'd all sit still for it, just like you always did. No, oh, that'd be a fight. <laughs> I miss those, too. Yeah. Come on, Bo. What's wrong? I sensed something the minute I came up, and that's not missing Ace. Part of me is glad that, uh, that Pa's not here right now to see what his sons have done to his family. What Ace's sons have done to his family? Is, is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. Look at Clint. I mean, he's a stranger now to everyone who loves him. Look what he did to David, to Nora, Balsam. Well, I, I, look, I understand how you can say that about Clint, but you? Yeah, I let my own son down. Matthew? Yes. How could I let something like that happen to him after Drew? No, right, I wait, swore no, that no, I would no, never. No, you can't. All right, Paul said that you measured a man two ways. One was by his family. The other was his word. Well, I came up short on both of those. Now you just stop, Bo Buchanan. I love you, but you are talking like a damn fool. How dare you count this family out? No, I'm no, not. No, stop. I'm stop. speaking for stop me. Stop it. This family's had a lot of troubles. There's no doubt about that. But you are all stronger than all of it. And look at your oldest son. David Vickers Buchanan, a first-class good-for-nothing, until he found out that you were his father. And now he has tried his damnedest to earn that name. Well, <laughs> Don't get me wrong, the man is still a boob, but he's not trying to sell me a bridge any longer. And that's all because of you, Bo. No, David is definitely the surprise of the year. And there'll be more next year. And I don't know what you could have done about Matthew. Followed him around 24 hours a day, never let anything touch him. What happened to that boy is a tragedy, Bo. But it is not your fault. Matthew will be back. It will be tough. But he will be. You know, you're starting to sound like him. I was a good listener. Oh, no. You gave just as good as you got. Asa was proud of his boys. Till the day he died. I see him. Every time I look at you and Clint. You know, we've had a lot of troubles, but we sure have a lot to be grateful for. You know what? You're right. We do. And I think it's about time that I start telling people I'm going to be a grandpa. David? Dorian? <laughs> oh, no. Not David Dorian. Oh, that was a oh. fairly good bet. <laughs> oh, it's Matthew. 
right before his accident. I, I don't know what to say. Well, it was a surprise. And it's a good thing. And it's going to be tough. Tough is what Buchanan's live for. <laughs>